Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Roy the Rhinoceros Beetle. So we'll be looking into their gameplay mechanics, their backstory, their location, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos is just fan made and isn't really tied to the overall canon and universe of FNAF. This is just a what if scenario and it's a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character of Roy the Rhinoceros Beetle. So in our last video, we were introduced to the Freddy Fazbear Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. An insect themed pizzeria that housed a number of bug characters. The cast of characters at the Insect Kingdom oddly shared similar traits to the original Fazbear cast of characters. The first character we met was Bella B, a bumblebee character that shared Chica's insatiable appetite for food. Bella's obsession with candy eventually got her into a lot of trouble. After being denied candy over night time, she desperately seeked out the sugary treats however she could. And it so happens the only person who had candy on them was the security guard. Bella was going to take the candy from them no matter what. So now let's get into our next character at the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. And this character is Roy the Rhinoceros Beetle. Roy was of course designed by the large heavily armoured Rhinoceros Beetles. These beetles are famous for their large rhino-like horn protruding out of their head. The engineers took many ideas from the rhino beetle and lent them to the design of Roy. Their body was much larger and bulkier than any of the other insect characters. Instead of the black shiny colour scheme that most rhino beetles had, Roy was given a bright purple scheme. Their chest however was a dark grey colour to break up and contrast all the purple. Their front torso was comprised of multiple hard rubber plates. And their back was primarily a two-part plastic beetle shell that was divided down the back. Just like the majority of the signature Fazbear animatronics, they have a large jaw and rounded square teeth. Their eyes were a light blue and were quite similar to the eyes of the main mascot, Freddy Fazbear. The personality traits that were programmed into them were laid back, easy going, fun loving, and happy go lucky. So just like the famous big old bear, Roy was the main character at the Insect Kingdom. Roy was named after the previous restaurant that the Insect Kingdom used to be. And this restaurant was named Roy's Pizza. So it only seemed fair to name this big old lovable bug Roy. So Roy's role up on stage was that of the main singer. So far in the band we have Bella on maracas and Roy on lead vocals. In their hand they would hold a microphone as well. Many guests and workers say that Roy sort of reminds them of Freddy himself. Which is strange because the two are completely different creatures. But there's no denying that they shared similar traits that's for sure. They were definitely the crowd favourite amongst all the guests. So overall, Roy was considered to be a lovable and goofy character. That was before they experienced one unfortunate event. So whilst Roy looked like a big old friendly bug, they also had a strange, somewhat sinister side to them as well. So over night time and all the employees would leave, that's when Roy would show his sneaky side. The manager and the security guard have both reported that Roy would act strange in his free roam mode. As we all know, the characters at Fredbear Entertainment would be put into a free roam mode at night time to avoid their joints seizing up. But Roy was never anywhere to be seen. The manager would always see Bella roaming around looking to get her grubby little hands on any candy that she could find. But when it came to Roy, they were much more elusive and sneaky character. They always stuck to the shadows. It was almost like they didn't want anyone to see them. Sometimes all the guard manager could see peering back at them was Roy's bright blue eyes. The security guard has mentioned as well that Roy doesn't like to be seen on the cameras. Before the guard would know it, they'd lose sight of them quite easily. 
For the time being, Roy didn't seem to pose a threat to anyone. They just liked their personal space and didn't want to be seen. As long as the night guard respected this request, then they'd be safe. So on one unfortunate night, Roy would experience a scenario he didn't want to find himself in. So Roy as a character was well known by his rhino beetle horn sticking out of his head. Many young guests would try to grab onto it and swing off it. Adults would open their bottles on Roy's horn, and as a joke, they would also hang their jackets and hats on his horn as well. This didn't bother Roy that much. During the day, he had to be on his best behaviour and make sure the guests were having a good time. But if anyone were to try and disrespect Roy at night time, this would be a different story entirely. So one afternoon, when the pizzeria was closing up for the day, the manager set Roy and all the other characters into their stationary mode. Roy and the others were scheduled for maintenance the next day, and the manager didn't want them walking off and getting any wear and tear before they got worked on. The animatronics absolutely hated being set in their stationary mode, and the manager could sense this as well. But the characters understood this was only for one night here and there, so it wasn't all that bad. The manager left Roy up on stage and locked up the pizzeria and went home for the night. A few hours later, as Roy stood there in their frozen state, they heard a crash sound. It was a bunch of older children who have broken into the pizzeria. They were all wearing Fazbear character masks. All except for one younger looking kid. The other children seemed to be bullying the younger kid. They broke into the pizzeria and planned to bully them. They carried them over to Roy and hung the poor child on the back of their shirt on Roy's horn. Roy, stuck in his stationary state, couldn't do a thing. Nor could any of his other robotic brothers and sisters. There was only one person who could help him, and that was the damn security guard. But on a night like this, they were too busy slacking off. The bullies all stood there and laughed at the poor embarrassed child. They sprayed Roy and the child with soda and threw multiple food items at the kid. All of this food and sticky soda stained and dirtied Roy's outer material. This whole ordeal really upset Roy. They were designed to entertain children, not be a tool to torment and bully them. Whilst all the older kids bullied the small child, they began to cry. For a few hours they hung there and cried, while the others bullied them. Eventually the security guard caught on to what was happening. They shone their flashlight at them and they all scattered, leaving the poor child to hang off Roy's horn. The guard helped them off and called their parents and the police. Roy was angry at the bullies, and they were also angry at the security guard. Why didn't they help sooner? Along with that, Roy was also very embarrassed. They thought that all these kids were bullying and making fun of them as well. From that day on, Roy didn't want to be seen by anybody. They would hide in the shadows and avoid the cameras. If anyone, especially that lazy security guard, looked at them through the cameras, they'd then teach them a lesson. So now let's get to the gameplay segment of the video. So once again the player finds themselves in the security office. So not only did they have to keep an eye out for Bella B, but they also had to be on the lookout for Roy. Or should I say, avoid looking at Roy. So Roy had the ability to approach from the left and right side doors. Whereas Bella B could only approach from the right side door. Roy would be able to freely roam around from 12am all the way to 6am. So when looking at the cameras in search of the other characters, the player had to avoid accidentally looking at Roy. As soon as they spot him on the cameras, that's when he would start to hide and make his way towards the security office. So the player does have the chance to avoid Roy altogether. But not looking at Roy while searching multiple areas was near impossible. So now that Roy is stalking the player from the shadows, they need to be on high alert. As Roy gets closer to the security office to teach the guard a lesson, the player can hear their sinister laugh in the distance. Throughout the night, Roy will also taunt the player. This would include him staring directly at the camera, and also saying some voice lines. Stop staring at me. No one will help you. 
Throughout the night, it would be quite difficult for the player to keep track of Roy's movements. Roy has access to all the rooms in the pizzeria, so this would definitely make him much more unpredictable than the other characters. In some instances, they would even be able to see Roy's hand on the door, but it would quickly be pulled away as soon as they looked over. Whilst looking at the camera, when the player puts it down, they can also see Roy peering into the room as they quickly run away and hide. If the player is having trouble seeing Roy on the cameras, they can also switch to the audio feed. This would disable the visual feed, but provide audio. This way they could determine exactly what room they were in. Whenever Roy would approach from either door, the player would need to shut it immediately. Roy was too large to access the air vents, so the player didn't need to worry. So the player needs to fend off both Bella and Roy. If they got too caught up with Bella and avoided keeping track of Roy, then they'd be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. So I think Roy the Rhinoceros Beetle would be a great addition to the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. They have quite similar gameplay mechanics to our classic beloved character Freddy, and they would definitely offer up quite the challenge to the player. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also do be sure to comment down below what you thought of Roy the Rhinoceros Beetle, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, to the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.